thank you so much for your purchase. Now I want to answer all of your questions. So stay tuned to see all the questions and answers. Hi guys, so this is Patty, my brand manager, and she's going to ask me a few questions that are typical questions whenever someone first receives their volume extension. So here's Patty. Okay, so I've taken, I've gotten my package, I've opened up the box, it looks like a lot of hair, too much hair. What do I do? Okay, I'm so glad you asked that question because a lot of customers say, why doesn't mine look like Lauren Ashton's right when it comes out of the box? That is because I have had my piece custom cut for myself. So you wanna make sure to take it to a local extension specialist and have them trim in any unwanted hairs that you um, don't want. So if it's a little bit too long for your hair, cut it to your exact length. Have them watching our cutting tutorial videos on YouTube on how to take the bulk out of the back and put some layers into your piece, okay? Don't forget, we have salons all over the country that yes, we call, so just call us and we will hook you up. Next question. Yes. What do I do after I've taken my piece to be customized? Okay, so now I have this beautiful hair, it blends with my hair. Now what? Okay, so I always tell everyone, make sure to commit to wearing your piece for five to 10 days because the first time you ever clip your piece in is not gonna be the best you ever clip it in. Just like riding a bicycle, it takes time to get used to things. So you wanna make sure for the first five to 10 days to make sure to clip it in every single day. And whenever you clip it in, you can curl it in with your hair to have it blend perfectly. So that brings me to another question. If, if I wanna wear it for five to 10 days in a row, mm -hmm. does that mean I can sleep in it? Okay, so this is a great question. A lot of clients always ask me this. I personally do not sleep with my piece, and I'll tell you why. I do not want to have to restyle my piece every single day. I typically, you know, curl my piece or touch it up one to two times per week. Um, actually, this morning I just popped it in and just did like two curls in the front. You don't have to restyle it every day, but if you slept on it, you would have to. And you also don't want to have any additional um, tugging or pulling it when you're rolling around with your head, you know, it kind of could pull a little bit. So we prefer you not to sleep in them, although that is completely up to you. <laughs> well, what about other everyday activities? Oh, Hanging out, swimming. Yeah, okay, so basically the only thing I would suggest you not to do is to swim in them. Um, and that's just because, especially if you have a blonde piece, any type of chlorine on the hair um, is going to, you know, it could turn it green. Any blonde hair can turn green and chlorine. Um, so we prefer you not to swim in them because you also would have to re-shampoo it and restyle it. And, who wants to have to do all of that or anything. So if I go to the beach, I just pull it all up in a ponytail and I can float around my little float and have perfect hair. Um, but yes, you can definitely go to the gym and you can work out with them. I've done that plenty of times, so that will come. All right, so I wash, I wash my hair every couple of days. Does that mean I wash my hair piece every couple of days? Great question. So all of our pieces are super low maintenance. I shampoo my piece probably every two to three months. Um, but we have some customers that shampoo every six to eight weeks, but we don't recommend any sooner than six weeks, just because if you feel like you need to do it that often, you're probably putting too much product into the hair. So what am I gonna use to wash? Great question. Shampoo. The Lauren Ashton Collection Shampoo and Conditioner. We have an extension kind that's specifically developed for our hair. So that's what I always use on my own piece. You wanna make sure whatever products that you're using are sulfur and alcohol-free products. That'll help it to last much longer. So now that you've shampooed or I've shampooed my new extension, how do I style it? Great question. So you always, styling is kind of, you can do it two different ways. Styling, you can clip it into your hair and curl it, or you can actually, it's one of these from the Lauren Ashton Collection, one of our um, heads, and you can clip it, you can not clip, you can pin it onto the top, and I'm gonna actually show you how to pin it in. So you okay. always, yeah, that's great. Perfect, thank you, buddy. Um, so you always, so see the PU around the edges, you always want to make sure to pin it through that. So I'm gonna grab one of the pins just so you can see. And I've done this a million times, so I can actually feel exactly where it is, but I'm gonna lift it back up so you can see. All right, so it's gonna do one pin on the top left corner, and then you're gonna do the same exact thing on every single corner of the piece, and it's gonna attach here. So if you're needing to blow dry your piece, you always wanna make sure to put it on this head and blow it dry. And um, because a lot of customers ask us, can I blow it dry on my head? We suggest for you not to do that because you're pulling tension on your own hair where the clips are. So the pieces are zero damage to your own hair as long as you do not blow dry them into your hair, okay? But I mean, what woman hasn't always dreamed of taking their head off and being able to actually blow dry their hair? <laughs> I know I have. So we know 
how to style yes. or, or how to uh, blow dry it, yes. what heat setter? Great question. So typically when I'm doing it as a professional, a lot of times I do have it up a little bit higher, but I do not leave it onto the hair in one spot for a very long time. But I always suggest for customers first starting out, put it on a medium to low heat setting. If it'll curl that way, then you don't need to turn it up anymore because all of our pieces do have a natural body wave in them, so it does grab the style very quickly. If it doesn't curl as much as you'd like, then just keep turning it up just a little bit until you feel like you have the desired. Um, level of curl that you're wanting. Can I curl the piece on my head? Yes, you can curl the piece on your head because whenever you're picking up your hair to curl it, you're not really pulling at all on where your hair, your natural hair is clipped into the clip, so you don't have to worry about that. Where else can I get more information about That's styling great. and taking care of my hair? Please. Make sure to go to the Lauren Ashton Collection YouTube channel and any of our social media. Um, you can find tons of tutorial videos, but I usually suggest the YouTube just because they're much longer videos, so you can actually hear us talking about it and see us instead of it being in fast motion for Instagram. <laughs> you can also call our customer service line. We are here to answer any questions that you have. Yes, nine to five Eastern Standard Time. Okay guys, and I will drop the number below in this video for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that we answered lots of your questions for you today and we would love for you to send us a selfie um, of a before and after of your hair so we can see how fabulous that you look in the Lauren Ashton collection. Thanks for watching guys. Thank you. Bye.